Good morning. It is about six o'clock. It is uh, way too early for me, so I'm going to keep this a very short intro. I'm going by bus today from uh, Kathmandu here to Pokhara, west uh, within Nepal. So it is going to be an amazing day of uh, scenic views of um, not exactly the Himalayas. It'll probably be more like uh, smaller foothill uh, type mountains, but should be some beautiful uh, natural scenery and uh, about an like seven or eight hour bus ride, something like that. So I'm going to go down and have some breakfast um, and then I will be uh, getting out of here. So off we go. And we're off to the bus station. It's a nice uh, chilly morning here. Got breakfast here. And this is the bus. And so it is important not to eat sweets before uh, getting on a bus ride, especially in the you know, Himalayan mountains where there's curves and bumps and whatnot. So down here, uh, a quiche that I got at a bakery along the way. So. And notice there is not a bathroom. So this bus is going nowhere fast. It is about uh, 8.40. We were supposed to leave at seven. We've gone 10 minutes from uh, where I got on the bus there. So we've just been sitting here for the past more than an hour because uh, apparently they double booked seven seats and another bus is supposed to come and pick them up. And then the driver said in 10 minutes, like five minutes ago, and I will be shocked if it is, uh, you know, anything less than like an hour and a half. We got all day, apparently it's only like a six or seven hour uh, bus ride from here to Pokhara. So that's the way it goes, especially in this part of the world. You never know what's gonna get in the way of getting from point A to point B. Interesting spot here we're stuck at. And apparently that is the uh, savior of our trip. Sure, sure. Uh, I think he was your, too long. Your, your name? Naim. Naim. This is Naim from uh, Bangladesh. Yes. So he's not Nepali. All right, we're getting a selfie here. What can you do? <laughs>
idea where we are. We're in some funky little uh, village, as you can see. Somewhere in Nepal. Probably about halfway between Kathmandu and Pokhara. Uh, it's been a couple hours or something. This is definitely a grueling day that I was not really anticipating. Getting a two hour late start to begin with and then getting stuck in the front there because in the end there were too, too many people for the uh, main part of the bus anyways and so I volunteered to go up front. And uh, so meanwhile I have the guy on my left falling asleep on me and then the woman on my right has a handbag that she has on her stomach that keeps poking into me and just kind of having to hold on uh, because we're facing in a weird direction. I had such a great seat there in the back so kind of annoying to get stuck up front but at least for the video then it's pretty epic getting the uh, full view there of the road and the um, mountains and everything so just gonna hang in there a few more hours and I will be in beautiful Pokhara. You are going to be excited to see it. It is a beautiful spot. I had been there before in 2008 when I did the Annapurna Base Camp trek uh, which I might be doing again this time as well while I'm waiting for my trekking partner to show up and then do the uh, longer Annapurna circuit trek which, which takes three to four weeks. Uh, the base camp is just a week-long trek so I might be doing that in just a few days. <laughs> that was insane. That was about 10 hours, not 6 hours. And a lot bumpier than I expected. The shocks on this thing are completely shot. Um, and definitely a little weird to see this kind of weather all socked in and windy. Maybe it's going to rain or something and that would be nice. Clear out the air. Because you sure aren't going to see any Himalayas like this. The uh, high peaks of the Himalayas can be seen from Pope right here, but not obviously when it's looking like this. So this is some celebrations for the new year? New year, yeah. Yes. Happy 2073. Yeah, 73. Yes. 2073. Yeah. You're from uh, Pokhara? Or? Yes. Okay, cool. some celebrations in the evening? Yeah, yeah, like three days. Uh, by the, by the uh, lake? Uh, okay, for the next day? three days. Uh, that is five days festival. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
And so apparently you can see the snowy peaks of the Himalayas out there when the uh, air is clear. The owner of this hotel was just telling me that uh, if it happens to rain now, which it seems like it's likely going to do, then it will probably be clear in the morning. So I'm hoping for some spectacular uh, views of the mountains from here. And so those mountains, he was saying, is the Annapurna Range uh, and Machu Picchu Ray, which is uh, the mountains that ring the Annapurna Base Camp, which is the trek that I've done before here outside of Pokhara. That was eight years ago that I did that trek. It is about a uh, week-long trek, and I'm likely going to do it again in the next couple of days while I'm waiting to meet up with my friend John that I met uh, in Cambodia, who is going to be flying out to Kathmandu in like 10 days or so, and I kind of got impatient uh, waiting in Kathmandu and was ready to get out of the city there. And so that's why I headed to Pokhara early. And so I will uh, likely do that trek on my own. But that would be cool to see some of the uh, you know, Himalayan peaks right from my room here. And as you can see, really nice room. This is exactly the same price as my room back in Kathmandu, $10. And that room sucked pretty bad. You know, it was like, okay. Uh, but this is a very nice room with attached bathroom. That one didn't even have attached bathroom. And uh, seems nice, comfy mattresses. This is awesome. So what a nice relief to uh, end up in this place after that insane bus journey today. I just found this from the taxi driver. That taxi driver was just there waiting at the bus station there. And uh, he's friends with or works for the hotel here or something. And uh, so he brought me straight here. So that worked out. Glad to have that journey done. That was, that was a rough one. All right, take it easy.